Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, let's put this on Twitter here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are live right now. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hey! The testament of the soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Uh, testament of the soul? Master Shoin's last words. The one he entrusted you with. I think he hopes that even if his body should perish, his spirit would remain forever in his homeland. Oh, hey, hey, Alexis. Um, stand for began with it's Master about Shoin. 3 a.m. for me. I know it's you kind of a late stream, but it's... Um... Useful for reflecting on all that's happened. Yeah. Did you guys just get Eventually, notifications now? Because all of a sudden a bunch of people are just popping up now. So his words can um, reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. Yeah, I I, it, I usually go to bed really late at night. Um, okay. Uh, read a testament of the soul. You can now view the testament of the soul, which enables you to recall past story events experienced by the protagonist and their allies, and to return to previously visited areas. Departed, it also allows you to reunite with departed characters. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, go see Taka and. Uh, oh, this this game is a lot of fun. It's a it's a great game. Uh, favorite companion so far. Please select a Yoshiwara Pleasure District, shall we? Temple. Um. Okay, here we go. Uh, my favorite companion so far, uh, probably Perry, I would say. Uh. Ah, so you have come. Now, it is time I told you the truth. Before we can go further, I'm afraid there is something I must yet ask of you. Would you hear me out? Okay. Uh, count on me. Thank you. You do me a great kindness. I'll return to my chambers for now. Please come back. I'll be waiting. Well, there are similarities to this, Chris. Um, I have noticed recently that a number of sick geishas seem to have disappeared. I decided to look into the matter and have just learned about a place where a certain geisha is being treated. I would be reassured if she were being seen by a physician, but I have yet to see any evidence of one. That's not all. Everyone seems to be turning a blind eye to what's happening. Something just doesn't feel right. Please, would you be so kind as to check on this geisha? As for me, I'll ask around to see if I can learn more. Understood. Oh, thank you. If you act like a regular patron, I'm sure you can approach the room without drawing suspicion. I wish you the best of luck. Hey, Pro, seven months now. Well, I have been a mem uh, here since used to live stream through PlayStation. Um, uh, I was a kid. I graduate um, in two weeks. I'm happy to be your friend. Thank you, Golden um, Stripes. I hope every I hope everything's well for you.
retrace the sick Geisha's steps. of treatment. Get out! What kind of... the hell kind of treatment is this? Our geisha are our pride. But if they can't bring in the business, they're simply dead weight. Dead weight we don't have the capacity to support through recovery. And now you've witnessed this. I have no choice. Men, put this wretch out of their misery! Do you to me? Don't think you can leave alive. <laughs> you help me? I'm too sick to warrant your aid. My body hurts all over. My once beautiful skin is... If I can't earn my keep, there is no place for me in Yoshiwara. My only choice is to disappear. What else can I do? Either way, it won't be long till I'm found and silenced. Uh, uh, I might be able to arrange something with the one who sent me. The one who sent you? <laughs> That's kind, but I won't hold my breath. Uh, who wants to watch a stream at 3 in the morning? Thank you, Mr. Waifu, for the super chat. Hey, Pro, what's the best weapons to 
put up a nice tampa. I don't really use that thing. Um, I haven't used that thing in a long time. Um, but the remote control minigun that's on top would be very useful. Is this game good? Love Neo. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't ever played Neo, but from what I've heard, if you like Neo, you'll like this game. If you like Ghost of Tsushima, you'll like this game too. Not really either, Mr. Go Animator. The girl, I take it. Was she all right? Uh, she's fine. She's waiting underground for my word. I see. Then I must go see her as soon as I can. As for the results of my investigation, I have come to learn the full scope of the matter. The girls who disappeared were killed somewhere underground, and their bodies buried at Saihoji Temple. We must tell the girls that this is no longer happening. Perhaps that will bring their souls some semblance of peace. Uh, thank you, Mr. Waifu. Pro, you look like Evil Raiden from Mortal Kombat. More specifically, Deception, Armageddon, Guest. I kill you see who cosplay a Scorpion. Rest easier now. Thank you for the super chat. They're saying a shogunate official was killing off the sick, and that he combed the Pleasure District looking for his next victims. The rumor makes sense. There is frustration with how the shogunate is handling the epidemic. He goes to show how unhappy the people really are. Hi, uh, Annie. Uh, what happened to the one behind it all? I spoke to the head of the Yoshiwara about the man behind all this. But the Pleasure District does not have enough resources. So I would wager it is still business as usual for him. The culprit goes unpunished, while you and I remain bound by virtue. Such is the way of the world we live in. Yes, this is all one of my station can do. I suppose these women felt the same way I do. They too long to be free. When we first met, I thought your life seemed so... I'm fettered. But the truth is you, too, are bound by your past. We both go through life concealing the ties that bind us. We may be very different, yet in many ways we are alike. Remember when I asked you to take those photographs for me? It feels like we've grown so much closer since then. They say a camera's true purpose is to preserve one's memories. I never really thought of it that way back in the Pleasure District. Why don't we take another photograph? Right now. That way, we'll never forget this moment. I'm good to uh I hope you do this moment justice. Uh I hope you will hold on to that photograph. That way I can always be with you.
I did play Manhunt on Hardcore. The issue at hand. Uh. Please tell me. I gather you are wondering why I betrayed Lord E. I must admit, he and I, we. He is a very important person to me. In fact, this hairpin is a gift from Lord E. But things are very different now. So much has changed, including my lord and me. The man I once knew is now the Red Demon. And the truth is that the role he has taken on torments him. Witnessing the recent purge opened my eyes. I now know that he must be stopped. And who else can do it but me? It is as if all these years by his side have led to this moment. I let Mrs. Femi escape, though it may yet cost me my life. That was the right thing to do. Yes, I am sure of it. But now, I am suddenly terrified. I can't shake the feeling that something horrible is about to happen. What do you think I should do? Get help from Katsura and his allies. Let's take down the Shogunate together. Uh. That is all I need to hear. I'm feeling much better now. I must apologize for letting my emotions get the better of me. Oh, I don't talk much Will during the cutscenes. I wonder. I know a back street out of sight of the Shogunate. I will show you. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, uh... Items sent to your storage? Uh, okay. Hey, professional. Greetings from South Africa, and good to see you Shall stream live. Have you considered playing in the Snow Wolfenstein Island games? Edo? Yes, yes. I um I played the 2014 game, and I'm willing to um play them again. Uh. Okay. Uh. GTA Advance. I'll play one day. Okay. Uh, love from Nigeria, professional. Well, uh, thank you, O, O J, Bo Bode. If I'm reading your name correctly. Uh, can you play The Witcher three one day? Maybe present the internet. Uh, professional, I think you are cringe. Well, I mean that's your opinion. Uh. uh uh let's go. Yes, together. So you decided to join us. 
The Blue Demon's forces are marching on Princess Atsuko. It seems there is dissent in the Shogun's ranks. If they take custody of the princess, the Satsuma clan will become hostages. You're the one who brought Fumi back. You have my gratitude. Now we no longer have our hands tied. Leave this to us. You should get somewhere safe. Please, take care of yourself. I'll be waiting. Now to support the Satsuma. Are you ready? I didn't expect her to die. Uh, in in real life, Taka did not get assassinated. Though uh, in real life, she got um uh, she got caught for uh, uh, spying. So I guess the game is changing the history of some of the characters a little bit. Uh, uh cooperate. Back up. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the game definitely does have a interesting story. Some people have complained about the voice acting, but um, the game was primarily written for um, it to be in Japanese. I maybe should try it with the Japanese and English sometimes. But I started the game with English. I think I'll probably finish it like this. It would probably be weird for me to change the um, uh, the characters' voices halfway through the game. Uh... Let's stay focused. Don't mess up. We must find Princess Atsuko before the enemy does. <laughs>
I'm having a lot of fun with the game. We went this way, right? That's why I've, I've upgraded my gun skills. Uh. Oh, 
out. Come on. Yes, I'm um, pretty late stream today. This is single, this is the story, but it's also, you know, co-op, uh... the days the oppressor mark II spam pro they must have been really annoying to deal with but at least they stopped it now somewhat people still abuse it but not as much as in the past thank you uh, mario for the uh, super chat what are you doing you pretending to be dead uh, okay, uh... A trick. Damn you, princess. So we meet again. Oh, this guy, oh, yeah. He's definitely gonna pay after what he did to Taka. The same boss at the start of the game. <laughs> No. 
to get better with the gun, learning to time the shots correctly. The better you time it, the more shots you can fire. thought the stray cat would wander in. Still, you did well. You have my thanks. Out of the way. My lady, we will soon have dealt with the vermin in the grounds. I thank you. It seems all is going according to plan. I'm afraid I must bring something to your attention. these aristocratic families whether they were in you know Asia or Europe um, back then a lot of people would follow these families um, uh, and would see them as Thank rightful you, kings and queens for your efforts it pains me but now we can do little more than wait I will seclude myself in my inner chambers you have no need to fear for me even the chief minister would not dare come for me there. With my stepfather now gone, the Satsuma clan will be shaken to its core. Its future depends on you and Saigo. But we lack experience, and our master is gone. You know Saigo better than anyone, do you not? Compensate for each other's weaknesses. ...and secure the clan's future. 
Yes, my lady. I thank you. Now, what did you say your name was? Uh, it's the same as the cat. <laughs> then you're a stray with a sense of humor, it seems. Well, Princess Sato, aren't they odd? I look forward to speaking with you when things calm down. Until next time. This is a really, really long game. Uh... Please forgive me, my lord. I did not foresee the stubbornness of the princess. You have been taking matters into your own hands, it seems. But at least the princess has been subdued for now. Fine work, but you are relieved of your duties for now. Go, rest. Yes, sir. Hey. You've heard about Tucker's death, I trust. <laughs> I just... Don't stop thinking about it. Ever since we met in Yokohama, she's done so much for us. And we had some fun in the Pleasure District, didn't we? But she was never just a regular geisha, was she? She took an extraordinary risk when she helped Fumi escape. She knew the likely consequences, but still she did the right thing. She may have looked like a flower, but she stung like a bee. If I'm going to do anything for Japan's future, I need to show the same commitment she did. Kenzo is already working on a new plan. But I need some time to get things straight in my head. Why don't you pay a visit to Taka's grave? It's right here, in Saihoji Temple. Over here. Yeah, I can't believe that um uh, they killed her off. I was surprised by that. Uh, but uh, is she supposed to die on this playthrough? Uh, I mean, uh, regardless of the choices that you make. But yeah, I'm su generally surprised that they killed her off. So you heard. Well, let us pray for her. Uh, that's why I'm here. Oh, this is the Shogun that's here. Oh no, the, the, the governor. Um, it's your fault she's dead. You speech crime intimidate. You may cast blame later. This is not the place. Taka, I am afraid I cannot stay long. I must fulfill my duty. The chief minister, yeah, this is the, um... Taka suffered because of you, you know. I know that only too well. She only served as a geisha to act as my spy. 
That tool was in aid of my mission. Under the Shogun, I will muster the power of the nobility and imperial court, strengthen our military, and negotiate a new treaty. A fairer one that shall protect our people and our wealth. Are you lonely, dearest Taka? Well, hold on. I won't be long. And when I join you, I shall give you the most exquisite hairpin you have ever seen. Uh, so Chaz, uh, she's supposed to die regardless of the choices that you make. It seems Gensri's latest plan is coming together. We're just waiting for everyone to get here. Ever since Gensri read Master Showin's last words, He's been all fired up about forging a new Japan. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's gearing up to attack the Red Demon's men head on. What do you think? Can you handle the fight? I'm ready. Good. Then let's do this together. When do I get the second longhouse here uh, in this town? Because I'm trying to unlock the second safe house. We've made arrangements to that end. It's true. Hmm. You always pop up at just the right moment, don't you? <sighs> no. Look at this. Every last one of them is here to help us strike down the Red Demon. Hmm, truly an impressive sight. First Lady, I would like to thank you all for joining us. We all come from different domains, places with separate customs, different loyalties. In fact, some of our clans once opposed each other long ago. Yet we have cast aside our differences and come together. Truly a testament to Master Showing. We must strike in the name of all who have been oppressed. Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. We will bring this darkness to an end and deliver divine retribution to the Red Demon! I am allowed as many guards as the Shogunate provides. Do you expect the Chief Minister to flout the rules? Yeah, so, um... The Chief Justice Minister actually gets assassinated uh, in real life, so I'm assuming this is what's gonna happen. But Taka didn't die like that in real life. That woman that got assassinated by the ninja earlier, she was a real person as well. Uh, she didn't get assassinated like that, um... <sighs> oh, I don't like speaking during the cutscenes.
Okay, uh... I'm gonna keep, keep Ryoma because I use a lot of guns. Uh... I'll invite you right here, Chaz. Oh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, and you get the blue demon's mask. Okay. Okay, let's do this here. to drain his key doing this um crap. you're not looking so good
came here of my own accord. As a man, I have the right to choose where I will die. I won't thank you. With me. Great, and I got no more. I got no more medicine left. Run at his key so quickly when you fight against them. Thank you, uh. I gotta get better at parrying in this game. I'm so bad at the parrying. It's so hard in this game. And I'm playing on medium difficulty too. Hey, bro, I just got in the stream. Why so late? Ah, because um, I just felt like doing the stream tonight and uh, I wanted to play this game tonight. that many um Mario Just <laughs> 
my lord. Chaz, let's just focus on the ninja. Get rid of him first. Crap, I, I can't even move a lot of times. Both already down? Damn, this boss fight is hard. The end. Okay. Check my weapons really quick here. Okay, we'll try with this one. Ready and work! This this fight is gonna be hard now. Come then. Come and take your pride. Oh crap! Damn. 
one more hit from this guy. Okay, I got him. Oh. Which one, which one should I do, chat? I'm letting the chat vote for this one. Spare or kill? Right now I'm seeing mostly kill. Yeah, so um, uh, it's historically accurate that he does die here. He gets assassinated by a bunch of Ronin. Uh, so we're gonna do a kill um, then. The Red Demon was assassinated outside the Sakurada Gate of Edo Castle. They were saying the trade talks are being suspended. And you didn't believe them, did you? You try arguing. I don't welcome the taste of steel, personally. Mm -hmm. I... Wait, uh. who are you? of this incident, Shogunate authority plummeted as the rebellious samurai grew emboldened. The influence of the United States, which Yi had done so much to promote, waned, leaving the door open for the British to take their place. After their triumph at the Sakurada Gate, 
Kusaka and his allies plot the next step in their quest to expel the foreigners. Well, these bo the bosses in this game are really hard. They're very difficult. Oh, this is a... Um, 1863. Oh, okay. Uh... Design. Try to put on something different. Um. Trying to think, what should I um? Uh, Try the, this. This. Is that a sharps rifle? I think it is. Okay, yeah, I think the sharps rifle. worse, right? It won't be easy for them to find us in here. Lots of constables on patrol tonight, too. It'd be too risky to camp outdoors. This was definitely the right choice. 
Thanks again. I really owe you for getting between me and E. With luck, the Shogunate will change how they operate. Any idea what you'll do next? Personally, I'm going to talk to Katsura and see what he's up to. Find the samurai, the demon claw. Ah, I should have known. You know, I seem to recall Katsura mentioning them not so long ago. Why not see if he can tell you anything useful? You should drop by the Choshu clan's villa. Well, I'll be off then. See you later. Okay. Deliberating areas. Okay, uh... right next to me too, huh. Uh, the Scottish Samurai, what was his name? Zombie Fanatic? Ah, it's you! Well, Isaac Frost was just something else, that was ah, a different kind excellent. of boss. I just arrived myself. Come on, let's head inside. Good to see you both. Listen, the British are building their legation on Gotenyama, and our plan is to burn it down. Naturally, it's not going to be easy, so I've asked a few of our younger comrades to lend us their assistance. Our people have also been watching the comings and goings at the legation. Their reports include mention of a samurai with a peculiar hand. Must be the samurai you're looking for, right? Well, what do you say to helping us out? I can't help feeling like I'm being manipulated. I didn't want to twist your arm like that. But please understand that my priority is the safety of my men. It's better to have you there. There's no guarantee they'll show up again. I hear that samurai made an appearance when we attacked Harris. I know we are dealing with the British this time, but they might repeat their behavior. Count me in. Marvelous. My thanks. Ryoma, would you consider joining us too? Your presence would be much appreciated. I hear the legation was a parting gift from the Red Demon. Makes it hard to ignore. So yeah, I'm along for the ride. My thanks. No. Uh, Ryoma. I know I'm uh... Asking for your help, but I don't think I'll be able to join you. I'm in the middle of talks with the Lord of Choshu and his chief retainers. Genzui and the others have assembled near Gotenyama. Can I count on you to go? I imagine you've got things to take care of. Let's meet around Gotenyama later. Ryoma gets assassinated in real life. Uh, uh, but the thing about Ryoma is... Uh, uh, out of all the characters in this game, Ryoma looks the most different from what he looked like in real life. Look at this place. It's more like a fortress. Indeed. With the Americans fading from the scene, the British are making a show of their power. When they finish that damn thing, we're in trouble. We'll never get them out. 
Kasaka. Hmm? Hmm? Yamagata, what took you so long? Anito, glad you could make it. <laughs> it's a terrible shame what happened to Master Shoen. <laughs> but mark my words, I will personally make sure his death wasn't in vain. Mr. Takasugi, it's been quite a while. Ito, I've got a job for you. I want you to put on a firework show. And by that you mean destroying a certain building? Exactly. Now the Red Demon's gone, the foreigners are next. Let's torch them in the color they brought. The smoke will rise as a beacon for our cause. Uh, no, I haven't, Zach. Love your reels, man. Thank you, Alexander. So the British are apparently going to be the enemies in this one. And, um, so I was saying about Ryoma is Ryoma was a lot skinnier in real life. Um, he's, if you look at a picture of him, uh, like, he's really buff in this game. Uh, but in real life, he's a pretty skinny guy. Uh. And also, if you wonder why the British, um, uh, why they wear bright red, the reason that they wear bright red... It has, has nothing to do with the British flag. A lot of people think the reason the British Army wore red in this time period was because of the British flag. But it actually has nothing to do with that. The reason they wore red is simple, because red was the cheapest dye. It was the cheapest color to mass produce. So that is actually why they wore red. Uh, the French actually wore white for uh, before they, uh, their revolution happened. And so that was actually the most expensive color. White dye was the most expensive one. But the French, well, a, lot of, uh, they, a lot of times they wanted to be fancy with their armies. But uh, the reason that the, the colors were just so bright, today in military you never have anything like that. You wouldn't have bright colors on uniforms. But the reason they were bright colored back then was because when there was muskets um, going off, the uh, there was a lot of smoke that would happen. And it would be hard to tell when there's a bayonet charge. You would have to tell whether the enemy, when the person coming at you was friend or foe. And the bright uniforms were there for that. So in the smoke of the muskets, uh, you would be able to tell in close quarters, you know, who's friendly and who's hostile. I mean, uh, go Google a picture of what Ryoma looks like. There's actually a picture of what he looks like, and he's a very skinny guy compared to in this game. Most of the characters in this game are real, um, real people. No, red was the most expensive die. Uh, yeah, I see. I saw the trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. Hey. Ah, there you are. Let's get started. Get a good look. These British gents desire a grand castle. They've got guts, all right. Especially their boss, Argo. You go with the diversionary team. Stir up some action down below. 
and get the attention of the guards. Ito and Yamagata will start a fire while you keep them occupied. Give them a good fight, then head up to the legation yourselves. If all goes well, once we've regrouped, we go after Olcock. Are you all clear on the plan? Yes, I'm ready. You're quick on the uptake. Bodes well. All right, we will get into position. Be on watch to strike. When we work together, there's nothing to fear. Damn right. Let's raise some hair together. Giant volley. expensive dive of all time, but I, I don't know of any army in this time period that, um... So, that's the easiest way to cheat a boss fight, right? By the way, this is the exact same gun that's in Red Dead Redemption 1, the Gatling gun.
ending up on the top of the mountain. How do I switch characters back? I'm... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. A bit confused. Okay. Over here! It's done! But our clock is still nowhere to be found. And I hear he's got quite the bodyguard with him. Find Alcock? Okay. <laughs> Looking for something? Uh, well, well, thank you, uh, Zach.
to finish me. I I can't. Uh, it was that. That was that fight was so hard. Damn. The combat is very different in this game than Ghost of Tsushima. It's this. The combat is so much harder. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
take more than that to finish me. at a battery too the worst moment too this is one second guys we have the charger this fight is so hard I'm trying to get better at the um at the countering but it's it's difficult. Yeah, I know that the game the game is just so it's so difficult. Savage. That crap that he just keeps throwing is so annoying. to restart the um, fight, but I... Yeah, it's a very late stream. I'm just gonna die here just so I can restart this, because I've, I've used up too much of my medicines already, because this is just, um... Well, I'm actually gonna have a video coming out on the Edge Controller. your Edge. For shame. This takes place in 1863 uh, right now, but yeah, this boss is just starting to annoy me. Savage. Have you no concern for the wounded? Oh. 
countering is just... even get a shot on her. Advice in this fight because this is this is just ridiculous. I don't want to keep dying so much on the stream on here. No, not really, Mario, because I was mostly in downtown. Downtown Chicago was relatively safe for the most part. Um, thank you, Mr. Devil Gaming, also for the super chat. Can anyone give me some advice? Anyone has played this game on how to beat this boss because this, this is just annoying me so much at this point right now. Concern for the wounded. Not that. Fallout 3 is actually the next playthrough. I'm trying to save the um, the revolver for the executions mostly, but but that's what I should a uh, block evade counter 
uh, attack and combo. I'm trying, dude, but it's like the the and you're supposed to you're supposed to counter like parry like right when that little red light pops up like right when they do that unblockable attack and I hit the triangle button like right when that happens and it doesn't even parry them a lot of times. <laughs> I I can't even do anything. It's past time we put an end to this. There we go. I'm glad you have a talent for arson. Why are you so intent on provoking the British? It saved me the trouble of provoking the British. <laughs> Oh, this game is extremely hard. Very, very hard. No. Gensui, you've gone too far. This is just the beginning. Wake up, people of Japan. As the smoke rises, so shall we. So shall we! This, this is no better than the Red Demon. Look, Master.
Yeah, well, that might not have been the best idea because they they literally just burned down the British Embassy. Uh, that's definitely going to cause a lot of problems later on. 1863. I hear Genzu is safe to seat for you at his party. Seems he's celebrating burning down the British legation. You don't feel like joining? Well, you feel the same, right? Harming innocent bystanders isn't any kind of success. No matter how pleased Gensui and the others might be. Do they really think that's the right way to forge a new nation? <sighs> what do we even want Japan to be? Let's make it through rationally. That's not one of my strong suits. I've only ever done what I felt was right. Ah, well, no point worrying about it now. I'd better find a way to cheer myself up. Guess I'm heading to the Pleasure District. Join us later, if the mood strikes you. Oh, that article, um, I'm gonna, I'll take a look at it, um, Helion, and I'll, and I'll reply back to you on PlayStation, I promise. I've just been so busy lately, I haven't been reading many messages, but I will read it, and I'll, um, reply back to you on PlayStation, so make sure to check your, uh, PlayStation messages. Um, uh, the Claude Lore video, probably sometime this month, I'm working on that next. You're up late, late. Yeah, I haven't, gone, I haven't gone to bed yet. I wonder if everyone else has arrived. Well, shall we head inside? If I can find a woman with a bit of spirit, I might even enjoy myself. of the wounded out of my head. Oh. Ah, I hadn't expected to see you here. <laughs> Thanks to you, I made the passage to America. I only came back yesterday, in fact. What was it like? Why, it was full of surprises. The government and education system are naturally quite different, but even their way of thinking is so unlike ours. I was talking about America in the other room just now, actually. I'm, uh, not terribly experienced with this sort of place. 
I was told to come here to chat over some nibbles and drinks, and couldn't exactly refuse. I wasn't the one footing the bill, after all. Who were you speaking to? Uh, oh, uh, never mind. F forget that I said anything. Uh, hey, how would you like to hear a story or two about the trip? Maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but the Kaishukatsu, despite his big talk before setting off about being a navy man, gets very, very seasick indeed. Oops, uh, I talk far too much when I've had a drink. L let's continue this chat some other day. There's something I'd like to get your thoughts on, too. I'll just stay here and, uh, sober up a little. Till next time. Mm, pay attention now. You'll miss the technique if you so much as blink. Hey, tell this fellow how good I am. My secret techniques are quite something. Am I right? You're drunk. What do you mean? I'm as sober as a judge. Do you two happen to know this man? Could you kindly stop him bothering me? These three sheets to the wind. Even the two of us might have a hard time with him. Hang on, you've never witnessed my techniques, have you? Well, you're in for a treat! There's a guy I think is your type, you speechcraft. Really? I can't keep on waiting! Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. See you around. Not exactly the type of guy you normally see around here. I wonder who he was. place would have been a breeding ground for cholera. We were right to burn it to the ground. Speaking of cholera, a firework display to honor all who have died is to be held by the Sumida River. It's a shameless attempt to carry favor with the masses, but I'm all for fireworks. Blaze bright and vanish. Hell, that's how I want to go. Listen up, men. It's time we began the next stage of the plan. The Red Demon is dead, and the British legation in ashes. We have the momentum to finish off the Shogunate. We'll take control and defend our land from the West's control. Hear, hear, and forge the world, Master Shoin, and Vision. Then I have a proposition for the next step in ousting the Shogunate. Kill Kaishu Katsu! Who's that? With the Red Demon gone, he is at the heart of the Shogunate. And word is, he'll be attending the fireworks. Katsu? Was Bushido a real I've thing in samurai culture? Very much so, yes. Back. Is kidding him even worth the trouble? It's the aspiring ones that you have to watch. Not that I need to rely on a drunkard for advice. Let's keep numbers low to avoid drawing attention. 
Ready to head to the river and finish him? What's the hurry? We can't afford to miss this chance. We'll have plenty more opportunities to drink. Okay. Great. We're counting on you. Sakamoto. You'll join us, won't you? I guess. If it's what Master Shoei would have wanted. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and scope it out. Let us meet at the Azuma Bridge. I've never watched it before, Zach. I could look into it, but I've never seen it before. Carcer City is in Chicago. Well, Carcer City, I think, is Detroit. I did see a trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. Ah, it's you. You had no trouble getting here, I trust. Katsu is a very prominent figure. He's likely to be in one of the boats in the middle. Once the fireworks start, you'll need to find him without anyone seeing you. You could navigate the boat's roofs, or you could swim there. I'll leave it to you and Sakamoto to... do the deed. I'll stay here and keep the Shogun's men away. So, are you all set to kill Katsu? I'm ready. The fireworks are about to begin. Hold on until then. Oh, crap. 
Pro, um, uh, in your GT Online live stream comment harassing you, you two named Blue Bear, uh, wait, what? Um, is, uh, look, I, I really don't care what other people say about me, um, uh, Agent Reaper. People can mock me all they want. Uh, I don't even delete people's comments when they mock me, uh, because I believe in freedom of speech. No, I don't believe in censorship, uh, Um, uh, Ant Man for subscribing. Is he on? Oh, it's gotta be that one. Oh, my God. 
Hi Annie, uh, stream's going good. Look, this is rather sudden. Why don't we settle this? Two of you have fallen in with those thugs who want war with the Shogunate. <sighs> Fighting is such a bore. Someone should collect all the army's gunpowder. Then we could really have a firework display. What time is it for uh, in New York? It's I'm in Central Time. It's it's 5:27 a.m. right now. The rebels went too far. But they're right to want war. Shogun, they killed Master Shoin! So you're going to overthrow the Shogun? Fine. Then what? Surely you don't think you can sink the black ship with that sword? If you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Well, got something? I do, actually. I plan to build Japan a navy. With black ships of our own, Foreigners will think twice before sailing into our water. He's right. Am I wrong? As for the Shogunate, you're not wrong. It's a lame duck. Seen from the inside, that's clear as day. But have you considered it'd be quicker to fix it than to spend all your time overthrowing it? So how about it? Do you two want to help me out? Murder, arson. Is that what Shoin wanted? <laughs> this is PlayStation ex exclusive, I believe, yes.
Oh, he's a friend too, man. It's like you have so many friends in this game. It's like there's so many companions that you can call in to help you out. Uh, it's like 20 companions that I have already in this game. Like this game has an insane amount of companions. I've never seen more companions in the game than this game. Hey! How do you get the black cape on the thumbnail? Oh, that's the Commodore's outfit. You have to do Perry's missions. The letters arrived from Katsu himself. It seems he wants our help with something. <sighs> Ever since that night, I've been itching to take action. I want to help change our nation. But there has to be a better way. My priority is looking for the Demon Claw Samurai. I hear you. Let's say to Katsu. I had a feeling you'd see things my way. I just can't go along with Gensui's methods anymore. Katsu's working out his own vision for what this country could be. You remember what he said on the boat, don't you? I think it's fate things. I wonder if Katsu is a real person. Even if I do steal Let me look him up. Adrift. My gut says to see how far we can go together with Katsu. This isn't the end of the road with Gensui, though. We'll work with Katsu. Oh yeah, now, he was. Um, we're not abandoning Gensui and the others. We should make he our was way a naval to engineer. place in Akasaka. He'll be waiting for us there. He helped form the early J Imperial Japanese Navy. Too bad Imperial Japan went on to colonize other lands. Yeah. It's, um, the, the thing about this, uh, do I speak Polish? Yes. The thing about this time period is that, um, the thing about this time period is that this is both a double-edged sword for Japan in this time period. Is, some people think this is a good time period in Japan's history, other people think that it's a really bad time period in Japan's history. It's a very, uh, controversial time, but, uh, but here's the thing about this, this is, what Imperial Japan did was horrible, but at the same time as Japan, and I'm not justifying the M M imperialism, but I'm saying is Japan needed a modern military and a modern navy, because if they didn't have a modern military and a modern navy, what would have happened is Britain and um, France would have colonized them, probably Russia too. So Japan was right to build a strong navy and a strong army, a modern army and a strong, you know, navy. But the problem was is that Japan basically decided to start building their own empire instead of defending their country. They started expanding and they started invading other countries and just committing, you know, horrible atrocities. So, the thing about this is if the if this if this um if the samurai had ended up winning the Japanese Civil War, what would have happened is Japan would have remained traditional, would not have modernized, and what would have happened is, you know, foreign powers would have come in and colonized Japan. Like, Britain and France probably would have split Japan. That's probably what would have happened. It probably would have been basically cut in, like, half. One part is, like, British, one part is, like, French. And so Japan would have been colonized. But on the other hand, when Japan modernized, you know, France and Britain weren't able to conquer it. But then at the same time, Japan went on its own conquering spree. So you see, hey. it was just, it's just like a really like, a, you know, complicated time. So, you made it. Now before we go any further, let me make clear that I have no wish to fight you. Don't worry. We've decided to take you at your word. In that case, let us begin. Now, to revive the Shogunate, we must learn from the West, but also call on our nation's strengths. But we need recruits, be it in the army, medicine, or the martial arts. 
And that's where you come in. The military is the top priority. I see you are no fool. In fact, a French military officer is currently here at our invitation, training our forces in the Western style. The esteemed Admiral Enomoto is grappling with this as we speak, but all is not going to plan. Go to the Hanzamon Gate and lend him a hand. You mentioned medicine? While we must be prepared to stand up to the West, we cannot ignore the needs of our people. That will only aid our foes. Above all, it is cholera which demands our attention. There is an expert in Western medicine working on a cure right now in Kanda. I want to make sure that remains their sole focus. Would you go talk to them? See what you can do. Can you help me find of someone? Of course. I didn't expect you to render your services for free. Who are you looking for? Demon Claw Samurai. I see. It'll take some time, but I'll see what I can turn up. I'm sure I can find at least a few clues while you tackle the work I set you. Quid pro quo, as they say in the West. I'm counting on you to get us the help we need. You can leave the martial arts to us. I'm grateful. But the two of you alone will not suffice. We need large numbers of able swordsmen for an imminent operation. Ryoma, you practice Hokushin Itoryu, I believe. You know Hachiro Kiyokawa, I trust? Yes, we've trained together countless times. I've learned a lot from him. I want you to ask him to help the Shogunate. It seems he is in the Chiba Dojo. I sense this request is best coming from you. I have no more questions. Very well. Please, do not let me down. Now I'm afraid I have other business to attend to. Come and see me once you have done what I asked of you. Do you mind if I leave the military stuff to you? That kind of thing's not really my forte. Thanks. Don't worry. I won't make you take care of everything. I'll do what I can to help. Well, the Jap the Japanese perspective on history is the the Japanese education system is extremely biased considering their um especially about their empire. The Japanese perspective, how the Japanese basically look at things, is they say, oh, you know, if we didn't colonize, like, you know, Asia, you know, Britain and France would have done it. That's, you know, basically Japan's perspective on it. Uh, but, you know, it's not necessarily, it's not the right attitude to have. Because that's basically what Japan's perspective is. They say, oh, you know, if we didn't do it, Britain and France would have done it, but... That's not, you know, a good uh, logical explanation. It's like saying, oh, if this person didn't commit a crime, I, uh, you know, if I if I didn't commit the crime, this person would have done it. Uh, let's see here. Help the Shogunate. Okay, build up an army. Are you Japanese, Tadarnili? And I can't. I can't read that. I don't understand. Do you speak English? What did the Native Americans do in the Civil War? Surprisingly, a lot of Native American tribes. Um. Uh. A lot of Native American tribes actually sided with the Confederacy during the Civil War, and uh, there is there is two main reasons that the um, uh, that the a lot of Native American tribes, well, some Native American tribes were in the Union also, but a lot of tribes that were in the South specifically, you know, supported the um, uh, the Confederacy, and the reason for that was um, there's two reasons. Um, oh, what's this? Oh crap! 
At least the, the rifle is the rifle is good against the uh, the the boars. Okay, so what I was saying is uh, the reason a lot of Native American tribes supported the uh, the Confederacy is because one, a lot of Native American tribes really hated Washington D.C., and the second reason was is a lot of Native American tribes actually did have slaves. A lot of people don't know about that, but uh. A lot of Native American tribes did practice in slavery, and they did buy and sell slaves. And that was actually one reason that a lot of tribes actually sided with the Confederacy. That's one part of history that a lot of people don't know about, but it, it is true. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the tribe was. There was one Native American tribe that had a lot of slaves. Um, uh, it started, I think it started with a C. I'd have to look up the name of it, um, but it's, uh, which one it was, but... I think that was a boar that just attacked me earlier. It wasn't the Cherokee. I, I don't know if it was the Cherokee. It was, um... Chickasaw. That's what it was. Chickasaw. The Chickasaw tribe. They had a lot of slaves. That's the, um... That was the tribe that I was thinking of. And they really, and one thing that's really messed up that a lot of that a lot of people also don't know about history is that when slavery was abolished, the Chickasaw Nation actually a lot of them refused to give former slaves Native American citizenship. So a lot of Native Americans are in res reservations, which are in the U.S., but they're kind of like semi-independent countries. And the Chickasaw, I, that tribe specifically, actually refused to give um, former slaves um, citizenship. So that's um. Yeah, that's that's a that's a part of history. It's also a bad thing that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, let's see, let's talk to him. Who's this here? Who are you? Kai uh, Katsu sent me. Ah, so you're his new assistant, are you? He's told me you're one to watch. <laughs> My name is Takiyaki Enomoto, Admiral of the Shogun's Navy. I've come here today to observe. A company of guards has been soundly beaten by the French in a military exercise. I fear their commanders all but given up on our nation. Without Brunet, our forces stand no chance of being trained to a Western standard. That's why I need you to go out there and impress him. I'm close to Brunei. Is that a fact? Either way, I am most grateful. Now, let me show you inside. Yeah, having that speech skill upgraded is extremely helpful. Um... You're really committed to the cosplay, thank you. The French forces are way beyond. I leave it in your hands. guns.
Okay, so this is the French army now. We were fighting the British army earlier, now it's the French. They got the French uniforms right. That That is accurate. The French did wear those colors. They wore typically blue and red. Darny Lee, I I cannot understand you, man. Are you you are you typing in Japanese? Hey, uh, DJ. themselves up with the cannon. Okay, I'm gonna test something. Oh crap. Can I can I actually deflect a cannonball? I'm curious. Oh crap. I don't think it's I think it, I don't think I can do it. is getting really annoying this one enemy Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, they're just constantly firing that cannon. That's that was that was getting annoying. Will I ever make a lore video on Johnny's character and how they ruined it? Yeah, I will, Golden. No, I'm not sleepy right now. Here I come. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Watch out! Okay. That cannon is getting on my nerves. They were just able to fire infinite shots at me when I was. Oh, I got one. Got more handgun ammo too. Prepare yourself. Oh, 
crap. There's two Gatling guns. You know the crazy thing about the uh, the French is that they actually wore these exact same uniforms up until World War One. These exact same colors. And um, the first year, the first few months of the war in 1914, they actually wore those exact same uniform, very similar color. And uh, you can imagine that on a modern battlefield, wearing colors like that would easily get you spotted, and it didn't go well for them at all. So the French army quickly changed their um, uh, their colors to that kind of like bluish, um, grayish color that they had in World War One. Guys, a giant. guy's a giant. Uh... Yeah, he does throw those at me. Yeah. 
Hoping I wouldn't have to use that gat uh that bomb there, but Bad. When Katsu told me he had arranged some entertainment, he must have meant you. That sounds like Katsu, right? Yes, that would be me. Well, well. And I thought you were all set to kill me this time. I am sorry. At Katsu's request, I did not inform the French side that this was merely a continuation of the training exercise. I intended to halt proceedings if things got out of hand. I never imagined a French base would fall. Well, well. It seems I was too hasty in writing this nation off. It's 
so we can rely on your support, I trust. <laughs> I do not need pressure from you. Admirale Nomoto, I will train your men in French military technique. But there are conditions. I do not expect everyone to be of this warrior's caliber. But I need men who are willing to learn. Samurai who rush headlong into battle are mere cannon fodder. I care nothing for status. <laughs> I just need spirited young folks who I can teach to fight from scratch. Understood. We will start to recruit them without delay. I am grateful to you. I'm afraid I must remain here. May I ask one last thing of you? Find Tatsugoro Shinmon in Asakusa and tell him what we've discussed. I'd like him to help recruit some youngsters. Who is he? Chief of the firefighters. He's an old acquaintance of Katsu's, and I've met him a few times. A quirky fella, but he should be able to help. Understood. My thanks. So a lot of these missions are probably going to, um... Ooh, we got here a new sword. Okay, yep. Yeah. Do have a browse. I like usually missions where I can take my time in them and plan things out. Okay, yeah, I think I'll probably wrap up the stream here, guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream and um, are enjoying this game. I am having a lot of fun with this game, and I do enjoy this game. I want another good open world game that I, that I can play, and um, this game has definitely filled that. Um, I'll still answer any questions before I go. Um, uh... I see a Mario. Biggest dummy in the GTA series. You mean biggest idiot? Maybe Lance. read your chat uh i should mix it up next stream what do you mean when will you next stream or make a video on gta um uh, what is today today's wednesday um i'm gonna have a gta video this um this saturday and then i'll have a gta stream on sunday and what do you mean zach Miles Edgeworth, lava girl. Yeah, I'll I'll use different web weapons for the next 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 time. I'll use different weapons. Yeah. I just like the rifle a lot because I can hit enemies from range. That's why I like the rifle. Okay. Yeah, Katana. I I think I'll go to sleep here soon. Um. So thank you guys for um for watching. If you guys enjoyed the stream, do drop a like. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful day, guys.